Well, philophobia, that is the fear of love, doubts, and worries about starting a relationship. And it can usually be traced back to just that, fear. And relationship co t coach Timmy Gibson has joined us today with some guidance. Why is love so scary, Timmy? Well, that seems like a pretty broad question. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the potential for being hurt. Yeah. Uh, it, that's what's so scary. I think that's you know, roller coasters. People are scared mm -hmm. flying what? because the potential for hurt and pain is there. But roller coasters and, and airplanes, you know, you're scared once you do it, but then you step aboard and most of the time you like it. Yeah. Love can kind of give you a little bit more vulnerability. It can be mixed, that, yeah. You know? <laughs> and that's part of it, being vulnerable about vulnerable in, in letting someone in, yeah. being able to share with someone. Um, but that potential for the pain and the hurt, especially from past, you know, mm -hmm. if you've been hurt before in love, that makes you super tentative yeah. to enter into a love relationship again. Definitely. How do you come overcome the fear of I don't know if having love before and, and lost, or just how do you overcome yeah. that fear of, of of moving forward with new relationships? You think it's it just comes down to trust. Yeah. There's nothing more rewarding and fulfilling than love, but there's also that caveat of it can be super painful. Mm -hmm. But being able to overcome it just starts with trust. It really does. It starts with trusting yourself to open yourself up to someone, someone and allowing them in. Yeah. Um, but you know, you got to work through that. It's timid, though. You know, yeah. you're you're nervous about taking those initial steps, especially after coming out of a relationship where you might have just been hurt really bad, or yeah. or there was mistrust in that relationship. Yeah. You know. Well, yes. Uh, but moving on, what are obviously I think it's easy to, to when you're when you've been in, in in a relationship in marriage, you can look back and say what are the rewards of love. But for those yeah. who are still struggling with taking those first steps, can you put into words what are the rewards? Yeah. Of, of those solid long-term relationships and yeah. finding love. Well, the, the, there's nothing greater, I think, than sharing life yeah. with someone. It's, it's the companionship. And it's not that you have to get married, even though I'm for that, mm -hmm. but being in a relationship, whether it's friendship, whether it's a romantic relationship, there's nothing more rewarding than doing life together and sharing experiences together. You know, you, you, you just you do something that makes you happy and that person's happy too and you're yeah. happy together and you can share in that experience together together, that's just beautiful. No, it brings it all together for a full circle yeah. and, and, you know, makes it really, really fulfilling and, and um, I don't know, I can't really, you know, I've been married for, for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Your wife's watching Sunday, going, hey. <laughs> on Sunday, by the way, it's 12 years. Yeah. yeah so, hey, congratulations. Uh, so, yeah, so it's, I think it's one of those things after you've, 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 you've been in love and you take for granted that, that comfortness, but it's always good to remind her to take a step back and to, in, in, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Yeah. You always say it so good. I just, yeah. just go it's the to <laughs> it's the companionship. You're it's right. the companionship yeah. that really brings the fulfilling part of love. Mm -hmm. You got to overcome the fear though, and trust that that you're going to get hurt regardless. Life is full of hurt. That's yeah. just what it is, and it's part of life. And so trusting is a big step, but the rewards are great. And that's why he is the relationship expert, and I simply ask the questions. <laughs>